Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here back again with another video and the day has finally come. We are washing my fall winter 2022 social sculpture 01 slim raw mud over dye denim from Visvim and I couldn't be more excited about it. So for those of you who are familiar with my channel, uh, you'd likely see the video I did on these where I wore them for uh, 30 days consistently and kind of took you through the wear process and how they actually faded over time. At the end of that video, I stated I, I didn't want to wash them just yet. I knew I wanted to put a good three months of wear um, with them before I actually did that first wash. Uh, so for today's video, we're actually going to showcase how these uh, will change after you wash them. Uh, so we're going to compare the measurements before and after the wash and then also compare um, sort of the fade marks and what you can expect to see washing a pair of raw denim that have three months of wear in them. Uh, so yeah, should be a pretty interesting video and I hope you guys enjoy. So first off, I do wanna take the measurements of these uh, just so we can see if they um, change after we wash them. Uh, these are unsamphorized denim, so you should expect some shrinkage after the first wash. Uh, although these are mud over dyed, um, so there was a little bit of washing um, involved with these already. Uh, the question is, did it get all the shrinkage out? Um, so that's what this video will actually answer. So let's go ahead and jot down the measurements of these. So for the waist, these are tagged a size uh, 32 and they measure out to be around 16 and a half inches. Uh, for the rise, it measures out to about 11 inches. For the thigh measurement, we are looking at around 12 inches. For the inseam, uh, these are tagged as a 30 inch inseam. Um, measuring it out, we're getting around 31.75 inches. Uh, for the knee, I typically go 12 inches down from the crotch and over, and it's reading around 8.25 inches. And for the leg opening itself, we are getting around 7.75 inches. Okay, and lastly, before we actually do the wash, I do wanna go over sort of uh, some of the wear that I'm seeing on these after three months of wear. And uh, I'll show some B-roll shots up close while I talk about them, just so you guys can see um, a better picture of, of, of the wear that I've uh, received after wearing these for three months. Uh, so starting off uh, at the top of them, uh, I am seeing a lot of indigo bleed uh, here on the size tag itself. Uh, the inside looks pretty good. Uh, no loose threading or anything like that. Um, so they're in uh, pretty good shape. Moving on to the front of the pants, we are getting some really nice uh, whiskering here on this uh, top block. Uh, I do see still remnants of the mud um, sort of near the seams. Uh, seems like that's where the mud has um, sort of been trapped, uh, which is nice to see. I, I do like the look of the uh, kind of vintage and worn effect you get from these. Um, I am kind of worried that with this wash, that mud will actually start to subside and uh, I'll see less and less of it. Unfortunately, moving down to the crotch area, um, definitely some indigo loss, uh, no signs of a crotch blowout, but we do have um, indigo loss and that's where it does get a lot of wear when you're sitting down um, and things like that. Uh, moving down to the knees themselves, uh, we do have some pretty significant um, wear at, on the left knee um, and then along the seam as well. Um, where I actually bend my knee. Uh, we're getting some really nice sharp contrasting lines there. Um, and those lines actually move on um, to the back and that's where you see sort of those uh, uh, honeycombs. Uh, we do have uh, some denim twist, which is nice to see. That probably happened um, during the mud over dye processing. Um, so we see that the leg has twisted towards the front. We do have some really nice uh, sort of rope wear uh, near the hem, um, which is nice to see. That should actually uh, come out to look really nice after we actually wash it. Uh, moving on to the right leg, we do see a little bit less wear on the knee itself compared to the left. 
Uh, I'm not really sure why, uh, but we do have um, some nice contrasting um, coming from the seam over, um, like we saw on the other side. We do have denim twist on this side, but it's actually the opposite way. Uh, so the left side of the seam is actually uh, twisted towards the back, um, which is really cool, really nice detail. And again, we do have uh, some moderate color loss here at the hem as well. Moving on to the back, um, definitely this is where we get our, or see most of our wear. Um, so on the waistband itself, uh, we're getting a really significant amount of color loss and uh, that is from wearing a belt, I imagine, all day. Um, so that consistent rubbing of the leather belt um, against the denim has actually created some, some color loss there. Um, we do have some color loss on this back uh, belt loop. Um, this is the belt loop that actually is gonna see the most amount of friction when you're sitting down, um, so much to be expected. Um, along the seams of the top, uh, or I guess the back yoke of the butt and all the way down the center. Uh, we do see a good amount of color loss as well. Again, sitting down all day, you're gonna get um, color loss in those areas because that is what is in contact with the chair. Uh, moving down to the pockets, on the left side where I actually keep my wallet, we have probably the most significant amount of wear on, these, uh, on this pair of denim. Um, so you can see the wallet outline um, that should become a lot more apparent after the wash. Um, moving on to the right pocket, we do see a good amount of color loss um, near where the back uh, pocket zipper is. Um, so that wear and protrusion of the zipper has actually caused a pretty good amount of color loss there. And uh, we do have a line down uh, sort of the right side of the right pocket. And I believe it's because the pocket lining has actually creased inside the pocket and that has created a uh, fade line all the way down um, which is really interesting to be honest and we do see a good amount of mud still near the seams of these pockets here uh, moving down the left leg uh, we do see a good amount of color loss here at the honeycombs um, which is to be expected and um, sort of the same wear uh, along the back side of the hem that we saw on the front side of the denim. Uh, moving on to the right pants, um, we do have, again, um, the honeycombs. Uh, these look a lot more prominent than the left leg um, for some reason, but yeah, it looks like we have uh, a little bit more amount of honeycombs themselves and the amount of color uh, loss that we see is greater than uh, the left side of the leg and then um, a little bit less amount of uh, color fade here on the back side of the uh, of the leg near the leg opening um, so yeah that is sort of the main areas that I've seen color loss in um, so those areas should be a lot more pronounced after the wash uh, we should see a good amount of color loss in those areas in particular um, so yeah I guess next we can move on to the actual washing of them uh, I'm going to show off how I actually wash my own denim and uh, give you some other option as well um, if you're thinking about washing your pairs of denim um, after this video. So moving on to washing the denim, uh, you pretty much have two options. You can either machine wash your denim or you can do a hand wash in the tub. Um, I did make a video showing you guys how to actually hand wash uh, denim if you guys check out my channel. Um, but for today's video, I actually wanted to try uh, doing a machine wash with raw denim, which I know is uh, sacrilegious to some people, um, but if you do it the right way, um, you, you could get uh, really good results and definitely save time and energy um, from not having to do a hand wash. Um, so there's a couple rules that I think you guys should follow uh, if you wanna actually uh, machine wash your raw denim. Uh, one of those rules being, make sure you turn your denim inside out um, if not, you can get these nasty, nasty uh, vertical fade lines down the legs of your denim and it just doesn't look good. Um, so definitely make sure to turn your denim inside out before you actually put them in the washer. Um, second, I do recommend uh, using cold water when washing your denim. Um, anytime you use warm or hot water, you definitely risk the possibility of them shrinking on you. Um, which is definitely what we don't want 
Um, as for detergents, definitely use a uh, gentle detergent. Um, if you're worried about color loss and want the, your denim to um, stay sort of a darker tone, um, look into wool light or sort of uh, dark laundry detergents. Um, for today, I'm actually gonna be using this super gentle uh, Buff City Soap laundry detergent. Um, they make it actually in-house. Um, it's four ingredients, uh, super friendly on the skin, hypoallergenic, and using a detergent like this, uh, something that's um, not very harsh, doesn't have very um, many chemicals in it, um, you're ensuring that you're not gonna damage your clothes. And uh, other than that, I do recommend if you guys have a delicate cycle on your um, washing machine, definitely, definitely use that. And yeah, if you take those considerations and advice into account uh, when machine washing your denim, um, you're gonna have really good results. And uh, yeah, so let's do it. Okay, once your denim uh, are done and out of the washer, you're going to put them out normally, like so. And then you're going to hang dry them. Um, please, please, please uh, do not put your denim in the, the, the dryer. Um, you're really gonna mess them up. Um, so always hang dry after you wash them. And yeah, now we wait and see. Uh, it'll take probably 24 hours uh, for them to dry completely and then we'll go ahead and check out um, how they changed measurement wise and then uh, check out the fading on these as well. Okay, so the denim has finished drying. So we're gonna go ahead and compare the measurements um, for before and after the wash. Um, so before I believe the waist uh, measured 16 and a half inches. Uh, now it is measuring around 16 inches. Uh, so that's a half inch shrinkage in the waist. Uh, before we washed, the rise was 11 inches, and now we are measuring at around uh, 10 and a half, so another half inch shrinkage on the rise. Um, the previous measurement for the thigh was 12 inches, and we are now measuring at around 11.75, so a quarter inch shrinkage for the thigh. Uh, for the inseam measurement, we measured uh, 31 um, and 3 fourths inch, and we are now getting around 31 so uh pretty significant shrinkage in the inseam uh three fourths shrinkage for the knee we measured um, it to be 8.25 before the wash and now we are getting again 8.25 so we didn't see any shrinkage in the knee um, and then for the leg opening uh, we measured it to be 7.75 before the wash and now they are measuring around uh, 7.5 inches. So uh, a quarter inch shrinkage there in the leg opening. Um, yeah, all in all, not, not too bad of shrinkage. Um, I expect things to stretch back out um, with more wear. Um, but yeah, they didn't shrink like a pair of unsamphorized denim would shrink. Um, so we now know that the mud processing uh, got most of the shrinkage out before they actually got to the end consumer, uh, which is nice to see. Uh, so next we're gonna uh, compare the fades and sort of the wear that we got from the wash itself. All right, so these are the denim right after we wash them. And uh, right off the bat, they do have more of a uh, medium wash blue with them. Um, so not so much of the dark indigo uh, that they were before. Uh, looking inside the waistband, uh, we do still see um, that indigo bleed on the size tag um, and then uh, on the waistband itself um, i am noticing that the mud actually hasn't um, been washed away it, do it still does have remnants of the mud there um, but i am seeing a lot of uh, indigo loss and fading on the inside waistband which is really nice to see uh, moving on to the front uh, i am seeing some pretty significant fading on the coin pocket and on the uh, the hip area 
Um, where the whiskers are, I do see um, pretty slight uh, indigo loss, but you can definitely tell that those will continue to fade and uh, become more uh, contrast uh, the more and more you wear and wash them. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking the fading we're getting on the whiskers themselves. Uh, for the crotch area, definitely has some indigo loss on the seam, um, but not so much anywhere else. Um, uh, moving down the uh, left leg, uh, just like before, we do see um, some more prominent indigo loss at that knee area uh, where we saw before. And then I also am seeing some pretty contrast fading um, on the seam section near the knee. Uh, so that's where I actually bend my knee when I walk, um, which was expected to see. Um, definitely seeing a lot of this like hairy and uh, nappy texture throughout the denim. Um, that's actually become way more prominent than before. In the close-ups, you'll be able to see the uh, very uneven nature of the fibers themselves. Um, which I really am liking the look of. Moving down to the hem itself, uh, we have some really nice uh, roping fades here at the leg opening. Um, so that is probably one of my favorite uh, areas to fade on denim. Um, I just think it looks really nice. So I'm really happy that uh, I'm getting good fading there. Uh, moving on to the right side of the leg, uh, again, just like before, we don't have very much fading um, there on the knee, um, but we do have a little bit of contrast uh, uh, fading from the honeycombs on the back, uh, protruding to the front, where I actually bend my knee. Uh, again, some, um, some color loss on the seam itself, uh, which is expected to see. And then moving down, looking at the hem on this side, uh, we have pretty similar fading that we saw on the other leg. Uh, moving on to the back of the denim, um, definitely seeing uh, the same areas that we pointed out before, but those areas are a lot more prominent um, than before. Uh, so looking at the waistband, we do have um, this mud overlay texture still there. Um, along with that, we do have um, some nice roping and fade lines um, where that seam actually sits. Um, along the back yoke, in the center seam of the denim. Uh, definitely are seeing the same fading that we saw before the wash. Um, but again, yes, it is a little bit more prominent. Uh, moving on to the left side of the pocket, um, we do see my wallet outline um, and it looks a little bit more uh, medium blue and prominent uh, than it did before the wash, which I'm really liking. Uh, moving on to the right side, the right pocket, uh, again, same uh, areas that we pointed out. So fading on the protrusion of the hidden back zipper pocket. And then we have this vertical line from the actual pocket lining um, itself. But yeah, it looks really good. Um, we do have some uh, loose uh, threads here at the pocket, um, but I can just trim those down, um, which is no biggie. Uh, moving down the right side of the leg, uh, we're looking at the honeycombs here. Uh, definitely a lot less significant fading than I expected, um, but we do see the lines and the, uh, the uh, indigo loss on those lines themselves. And I just imagine with uh, you know more wear and more washing, those lines will become uh, much more prominent, which uh, is to be expected. Um, but yeah, good wear there. Uh, moving down to the uh, hem itself, Again, same roping that we saw on the front side and uh, maybe a little bit more denim twist, um, which is really nice to see. Uh, moving down the left leg, um, again, we see the whiskering that we saw on the right. Uh, but like I said before, the fading is a lot uh, less prominent. Um, we do, you do see the indigo loss uh, where those honeycombs were. And uh, just like I said before, they should become much more prominent um, with uh, increased wa washing and wearing. And then lastly, the uh, hem itself, again, same thing. We're seeing um, this roping detailing and indigo loss at the leg opening, um, which I really enjoy. Um, and then we do have uh, some indigo loss on the seam as well. I believe that was the case for all the other sides as well. And yeah, all in all, super, super happy with the fading. Um, I like this uh, mid-blue wash 
that's coming out, um, giving the, the, the denim a lot more character. Uh, the hairiness and the slubbiness is uh, becoming much more apparent. And uh, yeah, really enjoy the results that I got on these. And uh, I am really excited to wear them for years to come and create my own unique individual fading on them and truly make these denim my own. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please comment down below what you guys think of the progress I'm getting on my pairs of denim. If you guys have a project pair that you're currently working on, I'd be really interested to know uh, the brand and also to see some of the updates and progress photos of your denim. So hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I'd be really interested to see that. Um, if you guys liked today's video and like the content that I do on my channel, uh, please consider uh, liking this video and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Grailed. The links will be in the description below. And also put post notifications both on this channel and my Instagram so you don't miss any of the Vism uh, content or the Vism listings that I'll be doing in the future. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good one.